This thing is scarily heavy for this table. You can see it wobble. Last thing I want is this table to come down with the legs. So on that note, we're just going to zip these off, put the plate in, zip them right back on. So this is just a safety. It's not actually holding it, but... It's there because I don't trust my table enough with this much weight. It's a good table, but it's a lot of weight. safer having it hooked up just because this much wiggle on the table and this thing is ridiculously heavy it's supported. Um, another thing we can hook up here we got this line here which goes from this fitting back to this fitting here so we can hook this in before we cover it up anymore these are the last little finishing touches on a job like this. I actually like crescent wrenches for these just because you can get nice wide jaws on the fitting. You generally get a bigger jaw than you do with a proper wrench. It spreads the force out and doesn't damage it. So I, I like that part of these. Somewhere about there.
marking up all the spots. Wow, one of these babies. Oh, this can be good in some spots. I used to carry these in the woods a lot because you can carry a whole set of bigger wrenches in this style with one pipe and you can put a pipe over the handle. It's a lot lighter than carrying a whole big set of wrenches. Cheater bar did the same stuff. So it's around this side, we can start figuring this out. This was not connected when I got the machine. So it's a little bit of a puzzle to me. I guess this goes just the shift there. Okay, so it must go to that bolt. Bolt it up here. This was probably one of the ones with the spacers on it. That very fine, probably never hooked up there. Based on that, I can see nothing can get to this plug. It just must not be used, I guess. This is that hole. Black washer and a nut. See the outline in the paint. Slightly longer bolt. Bolt the back that's out. side wiggle of the rubber bushing. So there's supposed to be in the pictures there's a shift gate here. So you gotta do a pattern to get up and back so it doesn't just bounce while you're driving. It feels pretty well engaged. We'll have to tinker with that a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with that. This uh this pin down here is still loose. Well, it's pretty worn. at it. More on two sides. I might just turn it so it's perpendicular so it's fairly fresh just to try this out. And then uh, when we figured out our shift gate and everything, if, if it's still sloppy, maybe I'll make a new one. I think for starters that'll probably get us moving. So that's on there. I don't see how a line would have connected here. There's very, very little clearance. Maybe if you put a, if it had a 90 immediately, it might have been able to make that turn. It's pretty tight though. Let me pick this up and rotate it and we'll see if we can get the brake side figured out. So this side, when I got it, this plate was here, it's up like this, and this is where the parking brake goes, but I didn't have anything there. So I got the right lever, let's get this plate in place. Not in there. This will go here, and then this is probably the one that's supposed to be in there. It's longer by just enough. See, brand new. It's actually from Amazon. But this is the most standard parking brake levers ever. Really cheap, but does its job. Looks like the holes actually line up. 
This is something someone rigged up on here before. We'll take that off. You know, to take my own advice, I should probably throw some anti seize on. I like anti seize just about everything. Besides, makes me, uh, copper stuff makes me look gold by the end of the project. I have it all over me usually. I'm sure this will be coming back off as we figure out the rest of the system. But for the moment, I'll put it on here so we have something to work with. So now what we're up to here, you can see that's parked or uh, locked. And that's free, which will stop about there probably. And what we need to do, that needs to hook up right here. So when it's up, it needs to pull on this. When it's down, it needs to release that. So we need to make a link that goes from there to there, which is it's a pretty straight shot. So let me go dig around for some parts. Some threaded rod probably. We'll figure it out. We'll make something to go from here to here. The pictures I saw were pretty straight and that bent somewhere around here. That'll work. We'll just have to mock it up and make something. So. Just fabricate. So I lost some footage, so I'm filling in here. Here's what I finally did with the shifter. See the shifter's got a stop gate in there. Clicks. Got a gauge stuck in here. Clicks up to the stop gate. Neutral's in the middle. Reverse comes over. Forward goes up. And I even put little notches in there so it actually positively stays. And that goes down to our shift there. So that worked pretty nice. And our parking brake here. I ended up flipping the handle forward because it fits better. Otherwise it was hitting me in the knee. Really stupid. I screwed that up. Anyway. This bolted right up to the original bracket nicely, and then I made this tube here. See, so I made sort of a clevis for the top, and it drops down, and I got a slight bend in it, and then it goes to my parking brake lever. Works great. Hope you like it.